Mozambique is one of the least visited countries in Africa and the entire world. Many Europeans, particularly the Portuguese, have chosen this country as their home due to its favorable climate, landscapes, and economic living conditions. In this video, we will explore life in Mozambique and many other interesting facts. Number one. One of the main tourist attractions in Mozambique is the environmental conservation areas where safaris can be taken. These protected areas cover more than 10% of the country, including six national parks and six national reserves. The largest protected area in the country is the Nyasa National Reserve, where visitors can observe various wildlife species such as lions, leopards, elephants, buffalo, zebras, wild dogs, and many others. Two, Mozambique's giraffe population. Years of civil war, habitat loss, and uncontrolled use of natural resources have led to a rapid decline in Mozambique's giraffe population. Fortunately, reintroduction efforts have been successful, with an estimated 250 South African giraffes now calling the country home. Three, rhinos were once extinct in Mozambique due to poaching and civil war. In 2022, however, 20 white rhinos and seven black rhinos were reintroduced from South Africa to various national parks, showing the country's commitment to conservation. Number four, poaching has been a persistent problem in Mozambique, with rhino horn prices ranging from $3,600 to $17,000 on the black market. To combat this, dehorning, filing down rhino horns, has been used as a preventive measure. However, horns grow back after several years and poachers may still target rhinos for their weight. Various organizations offer volunteer programs for those who wish to help protect rhinos and other species. Six, education and healthcare in Mozambique. For families living in Mozambique, private schools are often preferred due to overcrowding and limited resources in public schools. The healthcare system in Mozambique can be inadequate, especially in urban areas. While it is better in the capital city of Maputo, having private medical insurance and seeking treatment in South Africa for serious conditions is advisable. Most doctors in Mozambique speak Portuguese and English, but some medications may be hard to find. It is important to carry medical insurance, as you might need to pay up front for treatment in case of an accident. Additionally, taking preventive medication for malaria and protecting yourself from mosquito bites is crucial. Seven. With 30,000 kilometers of roads, only about 5,600 kilometers are paved and mostly located around Maputo and other urban areas. For travel outside these areas, a four-wheel drive vehicle is necessary, as smaller vehicles may not be suitable. Mozambique also has 3,100 kilometers of railways, which are used by both locals and expatriates. Eight, Mozambique's rich and diverse wildlife population includes a variety of species such as water buffaloes, elephants, wild boars, leopards, baboons, giraffes, zebras, rhinos, hippos, and crocodiles. The country's unique ecosystems provide habitats for these animals, making Mozambique a haven for wildlife enthusiasts. 9. Though the Plasmodium falciparum mosquito, which transmits malaria, is considered the deadliest animal in Mozambique, Crocodile attacks also contribute to fatalities. Each year, several dozen people, mainly children and women, fall victim to crocodile attacks while bathing, fetching water or washing clothes in rivers. 10. Mozambique is home to a variety of bird species, including flamingos, cranes, storks, herons, pelicans, ibises and other water birds, particularly in the wetter areas of the northwest. The country's diverse landscapes provide unique habitats for both resident and migratory birds. 11. The Mozambican economy is primarily driven by agriculture and fishing, with over 80% of the population working as farmers. The country's main exports include shrimp, cotton, sugar, citrus. 12. Mining plays a significant role in Mozambique's economy, with gold and tantalum, a metal used in electronics being the primary resources extracted. 13. Approximately one-third of Mozambicans reside in urban areas, 
with the capital city Maputo and other cities like Beira and Nampula housing the majority of the urban population. However, most inhabitants still live in rural areas, where traditional huts serve as homes, reflecting the country's cultural heritage. 14. Mozambique is home to over 80 languages. In the northwestern parts, Swahili is predominantly spoken, while Shona is the primary regional language along the border with Zimbabwe. Tsonga, on the other hand, is primarily spoken in the southern regions. Portuguese, the official language, is taught in all schools. 15. Mozambique's extensive coastline along the Mozambique Channel provides the country with some of Africa's best natural harbours. This strategic location has enabled Mozambique to play a crucial role in the maritime economy of the Indian Ocean. Additionally, the white sandy beaches have become a major attraction for the country's burgeoning tourism industry. 16. Mozambique's complex recent history has posed challenges to its people, hindering the development of a stable economy. After gaining independence in 1975, the country faced internal conflict as the Marxist government, backed by the Soviet Union, clashed with anti-communist forces funded by South Africa and the former Rhodesia for control of the country. 17. The ensuing civil war, which began in 1977, displaced 4 million people and resulted in the death of an additional 1 million due to violence, hunger and disease. Although the conflict ended in 1992, its effects continue to reverberate throughout the country. During this period, some of Mozambique's national parks suffered significant losses, with 90% of their large mammals being killed. 18. Mozambique's history dates back to the 4th century BC, with the first coastal settlements established in the 9th century AD. 19. In 1498, Vasco da Gama arrived in Mozambique, leading to the establishment of Portuguese trade centers in the Indian Ocean. 21. Lam Mozambique Airlines, also known as Linhas Aéreas de Mozambique, is the national carrier of Mozambique. It operates scheduled flights out of its hub at Maputo International Airport and serves destinations within Southern Africa. As a member of the International Air Transport Association and the African Airlines Association, 22. Mozambique food. Cassava, cooked and mashed, is the daily staple food for most Mozambicans. Rice is also a common base for meals, often paired with beans. Indian influences can be found in varieties of pilaf rice, which is cooked with chopped vegetables or meat, and the use of curry as a flavoring. 23. Mozambique has produced numerous notable writers and artists. Since the early 20th century, writers and journalists have published their own newspapers in Maputo, initially called O Africano, and later renamed O Brado Africano. 24. Mozambican popular music combines Western and African influences, creating a unique sound. One popular style is Marabenta, which emerged in the 1950s and continues to be performed today. The music scene in Mozambique reflects the country's diverse cultural heritage. 25. Mozambique is divided into 10 provinces and one capital city with provincial status. And if you want to continue learning about another country, I recommend this video about Iceland, the land of ice and fire. If you liked it, leave me a like and subscribe.